What to do with leftover turkey? We've got you covered with this amazing turkey pot pie. A classic comfort food that your family will absolutely love. With tender cooked vegetables in a homemade sauce and of course turkey, make this and love it. To start, you'll need two uncooked pie crusts, the bottom and the top. You're also gonna wanna use a deep pie dish and the recipe that we have for our foolproof homemade pie crust, you can find that over on our website and it works perfectly for this recipe. If you want to use a store-bought pie crust, no judgment from me. Go ahead and line your deep pie dish and then pop that in the fridge while we get the fillings ready. For the filling of the pie, you're going to need one and a half to two cups of diced cooked turkey. Four carrots that are peeled and sliced, which is about a cup and a half worth. About a half a cup of frozen peas, a medium white onion that has been diced, and two ribs of celery that are chopped into smaller pieces. And then we're ready to cook, so over at the stove, You'll need two saucepans for this recipe. Add in the chopped celery and carrots to one saucepan, along with two cups of chicken broth, and season that with a half a teaspoon of dried rosemary and a half a teaspoon of dried sage, a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Give that a stir and then bring that to a boil over high heat. Reduce the heat to a medium and let that simmer for about eight minutes. In the other saucepan, add in two tablespoons of butter. Let that get melting over medium high heat. Once your butter is melted, add in the chopped onion and saute that for about five minutes. The onions are more tender and a little more translucent, so now we're going to add in one fourth a cup of flour. Give that a stir and you need to cook the flour for about one to two minutes. The carrots and celery are more tender, so now we're going to simply turn off the heat and ladle out about a half a cup to one cup of that seasoned chicken broth and put it in the onion flour mixture. Stir that together and then combine those two mixtures together. Stir them together and then let that cook for two to three minutes. We want the sauce to be nice and thick or you're gonna have a runny pot pie. So stir that and let that cook until it's about applesauce consistency. And note that it will thicken up just a little bit more when you remove it from the heat. Add in the cooked turkey and those frozen peas and stir that all together. And there you have the filling for your turkey pot pie. At this point, go ahead and preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Then scoop this into our prepared pie dish. And you can see this is why we needed a deep dish. But if you don't have a deep dish, you could use a nine by nine baking dish as well. Cover the top with that second crust Trim and seal those edges. Use a sharp knife and make sure you put in several slits for ventilation. Then bake this in our preheated oven for 30 to 35 minutes until the top crust is golden brown. Let that cool for about 10 minutes and then slice it up and you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.